Hi all, Robert Ray Pure here. I hadn't intended to address this topic. I know Mr. Global addressed it last month, but I've had so many people ask me about it that uh, I finally wrote a Forbes article about it over the weekend and uh, figured I'd do a video on it. So why are your electric bills surging? I, I'm hearing this over and over from people. They're asking me, hey, uh, my bill doubled what is going on. A, a guy told me that in his area of Ohio, you know, they're seeing double and triple the price that they that they were seeing. So what's going on? The single biggest culprit is the AI data centers. The AI data centers are gobbling up power. They're a growth uh, market in the electric sector that was not anticipated, you know, a decade ago. And it takes a while, you know, to add electric capacity. And right now they are consuming up lots of uh, lots of electricity. And that means that electric utilities have to go out and they have to buy power on the competitive markets and that ends up driving up costs for uh, for everybody hey everybody it is phineas welcome back to the channel hope you guys are doing well all right let's talk about the electric bill a little bit and, and somebody left one in the comments that the lights i put behind they're off now besides the frugal phineas light but the, like the lighted up trees or whatever the light up stuff uh they said it's distracting it bothers them so let me know i shut them off this time Do those, those lights in the background do they bother you that tree's lit up that's probably the only tree you really can see. And that little tarp burner is usually lit up. Is that stuff annoying to your eyes? Let me know. Okay, so electricity. I did some research of, of why, why, is, why is everybody getting hit with higher bills? And is heating and cooling going to become a luxury for a lot of us? Okay, so here's some stuff I found. All right, so one of the reasons why it's going up, uh, electric power bills are going up is because of AI, believe it or not. It takes so much power to run AI centers. So they're saying in the AI center demand growth, up to 12% of US electricity by 2028 will, will be used for AI data centers. That's a huge, a huge expense. That, that's, a, that's a high percentage of just gonna be used to run these AI centers. And it says some states are hit harder than others. And these are, they say Maine got hit the hardest. Their their power bills go up 36%. I'm in Missouri. My, mine's going up 30%. I, I hear the 30% a lot. And then I heard New Jersey, New York area, 39%. So that, that's even higher than Maine's. Connecticut's going up 18%. Utah, 15%. All right, so here's, here's some reasons why. Why bills are exploding. Infrastructure costs. More of your bill goes to poles and wires than actual power. Because a lot of stuff's getting outdated. Soaring demand, AI centers, electric cars, and record AC use. See, I'm in Missouri, right? And people think Missouri, they think it's, yeah, you don't get hot, because I left Florida to come to Missouri. People always wonder why I did that. Florida's brutal. Florida's that, that, that humid heat almost 12 months a year. Missouri is brutal heat, but it's like three months. You get seasons here, but it's brutal. Like we had heat advisories almost every day of the week so far this summer. And I'm trying to keep my electric bill down because I got that notice about 30%. But it is tough. It is hot. <laughs> like, I showed you guys this before, but I blocked this, that vent off. So in this room, it's actually very hot right now. I'm trying, I don't cool this room. And then I actually just recently blocked off. If you pull in my garage, you come inside the house, you have to go one set of stairs. There's a little platform. Another set of stairs. It's like a hallway, a high hallway. I just recently blocked that off because I want to air condition that big old hallway. That's how that's how expensive these bills are getting. And then I have a bonus room downstairs. It's, it's underground, so that room does stay cool and I don't use it much. Like tomorrow I have to groom two dogs. And while while I groom after I finish the dog, I put them in that room. It's, it's a nice room. It's very cool. And there's fans in there. But um so so I'm doing those kind of things. Because that's becoming a... Remember when cable bill used to be 300 bucks a month sometimes? Like if you have HBO and sports channel and all the cable channels, it could be two, 300 with the internet and everything. The electric bill is becoming that type of bill, but higher. It's becoming... It was a bill that, you know, nobody loved, but you got to have power. Now it's becoming a bill people are getting scared of. Like, like I'm nervous for, for my next bill. And I keep my house 7980 and people think that's crazy, but I'm blasting myself with fans... And I seem to be doing okay with that. Sometimes at night it gets hot, so I, I do turn I turn down 79, 
hardly ever 78. I, I seem to be doing okay with that. I live alone, so nobody else can complain. Because <laughs> I'm sure if I live with somebody, that person would not like that. But I seem to be okay with that. But even with that, I'm scared what, what, what my bill is going to be. Because in life, you can cut you can cut expenses, right? You can stop eating out. You can not go on vacation. You can not go to concerts. You can stop buying clothes. you got to have power. And, that, and that's what they're going to get us. They know we have to have power. So what are we going to do? Not pay, you know, we, we got to somehow pay this bill. All right. Climate stress, extreme heat waves force utilities to hike rates. That's what we're going through now. It's like heat everywhere. Everybody's getting these. And people are saying the winters are going to be just as bad. Now, my heat is on gas, so it's not on electric. But it costs electric it takes electric to run that so i'm getting hit there and then i get the gas and our gas bill in missouri we got a letter from them going up 20 percent so same thing i don't want to heat this room if nobody's using it i don't want to heat that stairwell hallway all right fuel volatility national gas powers 35 percent of u.s electricity and global demand pushes costs up is air, is air conditioning and heat on track become a luxury? The trends are concerning. Historically, heating and cooling account for 43% of, of residential use. So almost half of your electric bill is heat and cooling. And it's brutal. Like, like if you don't use air in your house, and I, and I know this is kind of first world problems because people other places in the world don't have any air conditioning or they, or they live in, you know, way different structural buildings and, and with no windows and i know it, it does it does seem kind of uh stuck up for me to bitch about power bills but it's it just it's just it's just a fact we're getting whipped with power bills too so almost 50 percent of your electricity bill comes from either heating or cooling and try not using the air conditioning at all in the summer in, in this in extreme heat and you have kids or Elderly parents living with you, or yes, pets. I mean, it's brutal. You gotta have some relief. I, I get it sounds spoiled, but but okay. So the sweet spot is fall. I remember making making a, making a video about this last year around this time. There is a sweet spot for a lot of us, not all of us, but here in Missouri, there's a sweet spot. So when summer ends and we're in the fall, there's like three months there where I don't use air. Because, because it's folly out, it's nice out, and it's not cold enough for heat yet. So there's three months there where you can really knock that electric bill way down. So take those three months, and, and whatever you save, put that aside somewhere. Maybe put that aside, like literally put it aside, to pay toward the winter heating costs that are going to come up. Rising rates, extreme temperatures, and a strained grid. Essential services like AC and heat are becoming financially burdensome, especially for low-income households. And there's more low-income households than ever before right now. I consider, I consider myself low-income. I've always been... There's a point in my life where I made pretty decent money, but I spent it all on garbage, so it really doesn't matter. But I consider myself low-income, for sure. Uh, over 80 million Americans are reported to be sacrificing... This is crazy. 80 million Americans are reported sacrificing other necessities like food or medicine just to keep heat or AC running. Talking about heat. Like, okay, I live alone, right? And it gets cold in Missouri here. It gets, I know it gets colder elsewhere, but it gets freezing here in Missouri. And I can, I can suck it up some of the time and, and have electric blanket and, and put some layers on, but it gets so cold here that the concern is freezing pipes and having pipes burst. So I have to, so so you gotta have some kind of heat. I live in a fifty year old house. Pipe bursting is 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 a big thing around here in Missouri. And, and I, so you, you can't even shut the heat off and just suffer through it and, and layer up because then you're risking having a pipe burst, which is another whole nightmare. This situation is particularly dire in regions with explosive increases or where the grid is most stress without meaningful intervention prices could push climate control toward luxury i think we're getting there it's definitely a luxury it, 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 it's definitely going to be like uh running that air conditioning to be comfortable this is become a luxury here's some strategies to help you save on i i, I put a video a year ago about 
things you can do around your house to try not to electric bill down. But here's some, you know, closed doors to unused rooms, block the vent. Um, use smart thermostats and possibly you can program them. Add insulation or weather, weather stripping to cut drafts like around doors and windows. Also, caulk. I caulked, when I first moved to this house, it's an old house. And people before me, you know, they took care of it somewhat, but it was just an old house. But there were so many gaps under all around all my windows that you could just feel in the winter a draft coming in. So that means in, in the summer, my air conditioning is escaping out. So I bought many, many tubes of caulking and just went caulking crazy when I first moved in here. So, so take a look at that. Caulking is relatively um, affordable, and that's one way around your windows, because if hot air is coming in or your air is leaking out, that's going to cause your electric to go up too. Run ceiling fans in rooms. Yeah, ceiling, fan, ceiling fans cool the person, not the room. So when you leave the room, shut that ceiling fan off. But I got three fans blasting my seat on the couch. So, so that's why I can do the 79 degrees, 80 degrees, which some people would think is super hot. Um, I, with that on 79 or 80 degrees and I'm blasting three fans, it's a little loud. I got to turn the TV up a little bit. <laughs> it's a little loud, but, but, but I, I do actually feel good and it's nice. I get up and walk in this room. This room's blazing hot. All right. Run ceiling fans. Lower thermostat a couple degrees in winter. Raise it in the summer. Even a two to three degree change can save five to 10% on your bills. Caulk around windows. We just said that. Blackout curtains last year. I think it was last year. One of my projects was, okay, I'm going to put blackout curtains in all the rooms in my house. All the windows in my house. That one. That's just, I like it because my house is kind of black and white motif, so I kind of like it. It makes the house homier. But it, blackout curtains, Walmart has them. They're like, if I remember correctly, it's been a year or so since I bought them. Eight eighty-eight per panel. And uh, so if I remember correctly, it costs... Somewhere around 500 to do my whole house because you had to get curtain rods too. But um, that's supposed to help a little bit. And I like how it looks. It just makes it homey. What do you guys think? Do you think it's going to become a luxury? Do you think it already is a luxury? I mean, people are like putting electric bills on their credit card in a, a, lot, of in, uh, in a lot of circumstances. So they're charging electric bills. So they're they're going to be paying interest on their electric bill piled up. At least to get to fall, maybe they can turn it off for a little while and catch back up. But, but it's getting bad. It's becoming. This is one of the, one of those sleeper ones. Like I did not expect my electric bill. I expected to go up. Every everything's gone up. But but mine went up thirty percent. Maine's thirty six percent. New Jersey, New York, thirty nine percent. I didn't didn't expect that. That's substantial, and people can't afford that. We how much more can we afford? It, it's we, we can't keep affording everything, and when they make the bill. On something like electricity, what choice do we have? We have to somehow manage and, and somehow take the money from somewhere else. You know, like it said, you're buying less food, and less medications in, in some ways, because no air conditioning, no heat in the winter. It's it's brutal, and it could be dangerous for for uh, you know kids, babies, elderly. Like like that's no joke. Yeah, we talk about comfort. It's nice to be comfortable. Man, we work our whole lives. Can't we be comfortable in the summer? <laughs> No, we can't have that. You got to make that go up 30%, 36%. And when is that going to stop? Because now they're building, building AI data centers and all over the place, right? And that's going to suck up so much electricity. So so it's going to, like, again, I would say the same thing. Things are only going to get worse. It's no fun to keep saying that, but things are only going to get worse. That's why, you know, get your household in order like we always talk about. Get your car in order. Keep putting some food away. Um, my car just got out of the shop. It was 500 and f I don't have the exact amount. I'm doing a video on it. $550 on, you know, another expense. So we got to stay on top of all this stuff. Now we got to worry about high, high power bills. So annoying. All right. You guys let me know in the comments what you guys think. What do you, you think? Has, has your bill gone up since last year? Are you seeing that? Not everybody's seen it. Everybody might see it, but but not everybody's seen it yet. It, it, it's come to my area. I'm going to, when my bill comes in, my next bill, which is it's a scary one because it's been hot as hell this last month. So my, my next electric bill, I have no idea what it's going to be. 
It's supposed to go up 30% from what it was last year. Let's see. I'll, I'll let you guys know when I get that bill in. All right, you guys. Stay safe. Stay cool. And um, I'll see you guys in the comments. And have a good day, guys.